Hi everyone, I'm Bianca Valeria and welcome to another episode of Come Away With Me with Bianca Valeria. So I always have to reiterate that travel is not just hopping on an airplane, it is a journey inward the soul. So I'm sharing another motivational post and this time it's about the five languages of love. If you guys haven't actually read the book, so there is this man and he wrote this. His name is Gary Chapman. You can look about you can look him up on Google, but anyway, if you don't can't be bothered to actually read the book, some people don't really like to read, or instant gratification like YouTube or just or the social media, this is why this post is for you. Now there are five languages of love. And the reason why I wanted to share this is because there are a lot of relationships out there that have become have just really headed north or south or really fucked up basically. And it's not because they've lost their love for one another, it's because there's a misunderstanding on how love is conveyed and received. So I'm gonna share this post with you guys so that you can find a way to find that middle ground and understand one another's body language or words or whatnot so that you can understand that someone is actually offering you love even when you didn't think it was actually there. So the five languages of love are, first, physical affection, no shit. Hugs, kissing, making out, <laughs> or just holding hands, or you know, a pat in the back and the shoulder, or just when you're guiding someone up the escalator and you're holding their back, that's already physical affection. Now, there are people who don't like to be touched. There are people who are just get a little bit queasy when you, or even boyfriend and girlfriends, when a girl is like, oh my God, all he wants to do is fucking make out with me. It's like, doesn't he want to do anything else? Well, for some people, that's what they yearn for, that physical connection. And it's not always because someone is horny. Well, of course, the hormones do help, but sometimes physical affection is a validation that they're really connecting with someone on a very intimate level. So sometimes if you have a partner or just a friend who's super touchy, oh my God, I miss you so much, I need a hug. And you know, and sometimes it is a little bit of an invasion of a uh, private space. But at the same time, if you just understand that maybe they're a very touchy feely person, then you won't really take so much offense to it. Okay. And then at the same time, if you are not really that kind of person who likes to be touched, well, I'll share with you guys later on how to make it work on the five languages of love. Okay. But that's the first one, physical affection. Number two, quality time. Now, some people don't really like this because they think that, oh, I'd rather be gifts, I'd rather hugs. I mean, they're just gonna sit with me. Like, who cares? It's so cheap and they're just, they're just there. Well, you know, for some people who value their time alone or for their people who are so busy with their life that they have no time for people or time for relationships, but the fact that they're making time for you in their busy schedule or taking time away from just being a homebody, that means that they're placing importance on you. And isn't that great? And for those of you guys, and this is actually one of my love languages, quality time is because I usually just, um, well, I travel a lot. So for me to have lunch with a person, to have a dinner with a person, to attend a social engagement is very difficult for me because if I'm not traveling, if I'm not working, I would just rather do things on my own and not really socialize. So quality time is often misunderstood as someone is just hanging out. That's not true because when you give your undivided attention to someone, that is love. Number three is acts of service. You know, acts of service is a very funny thing because people think that service is such a big thing like running for Congress or, you know, like um, doing stuff for the community. Not really. Acts of, well, although those are acts of love as well on a grander scale, but acts of service could be driving your loved one to school or preparing their lunch or cooking them lunch or sweeping the floors because no one else in the house is going to do it or doing the laundry of, of of your mom, of your brother, of your baby sister, or let's say um, helping them with their homework, or giving someone a blowjob. <laughs> you know, there are things that we love doing because we just love, like cooking. There are some people, they just love entertaining people and cooking for them, right? But at the same time, there are also things that we don't really want to do, but we do it for their loved ones because we know that some people love home-cooked meals. So we actually do it for them because they don't have the time to do it. So those are acts of service. 
Number four, gifts or material things. I have to admit, this is the language of love of my family because we're not a very showy, expressive kind of family, but we do. Or at least my, my, my parents have, that's how we are raised. So they put us to, let's say, the best schools. They make us travel everywhere or they buy us the nicest things. They've never, I've honestly, I've never really heard my parents say I love you, but that doesn't mean I don't feel love. I feel loved every day. It's just that they express it in a different way, right? Now, the tricky thing about material things is that, you know, I used to be this kind of person many years ago. But I find that a lot of people take advantage of me. Why? Because it's probably not their language of love and they just see it as mooching or freeloading or look, Bianca comes with so many benefits. Let's be friends with her. So I had to cut down on the material gifts and it's made me also learn how to discern from the people who are taking advantage of me or just really there for me and not what I can offer them in terms of material things. So lastly is words of affirmation. And if it hasn't been obvious yet, obviously words of affirmation is my language of love to all of you. Whether it be working on the podcast, giving advice, or I could be that type of person you could text all night because I'm giving you advice or just talking about life and whatnot. This is how I personally express myself. This is how I bond with my daughter. I. I'm actually better with her at texting on Messenger about like cheesy stuff in the world than I am with like um, doing things with her. You know, it's it really is a matter of how you express. Now, here's why it becomes a problem. For example, you love to give your wife. Um, flowers you like to give her um, gifts and all these things but what if the thing she really wants is you helping out with household chores which is an act of service so sometimes our the way we express a language of love is not necessarily the way our loved one wants to receive it correct and that's why there's always a disconjunct right or or that's why there's always a misunderstanding because we don't realize when someone is expressing it to us that is their language of love it's just not how we want to receive it so this is where communication comes in you really need to sit down explain to them what the five languages are and then you have to really think Hmm, I understand now that my parents love giving me gifts, but I wish that they would really just tell me they love me, right? So sometimes you have to tell them so that they become more aware. Okay, as much as I want to give her the Chanel bag, but apparently it doesn't matter to her if this is 150,000 pesos, she would prefer that I help sweep the floors, that I help do the laundry, clean up after myself, put down the toilet seat. Hey, things that you never thought were important are actually what make people happy. So it's about really communicating with them. And also one thing, it doesn't mean that just because you express it in let's say words of affirmation, it doesn't mean that that's the way you also like to receive it. For example, I am a very words of affirmation. That is how I express it. But how do I like to receive it? It really made me think, how do I like to receive it? I actually like quality time and acts of service so those are the things that really resonate with me um, versus words of affirmation because i think to myself that ah, talk talk is cheap <laughs> you can do that with anyone you can lie but quality time you're really sitting there with someone and that means a lot to me and acts of service as well like for example like um i don't know i I value our helpers at home because I know the things that like washing my clothes or helping clean my room, those are things that it's not my favorite thing. So for them to actually help me with that, that for me is such an act of love. And even if they're paid to do it, I still love them regardless because they don't have to be working for us. So that for me, I truly, truly value. So the next time when you're in a relationship, whether it be with your mom, with your sister, with your friend, with your romantic partner, if you really want to enrich your relationship communication is not just talking it is about how you express and receive love so try and remember the five languages of love discuss it with your partner discuss it with your friend and see how you can make it work for the two of you and not just for yourself and that can make for a very happy fulfilling relationship from now until later on so I hope you guys subscribe to my youtube channel that's Bianca Valerio 
And for exclusive content, there is, of course, on my Facebook, and there's my Instagram, and there is my Twitter. There's a lot of written posts on my website, that's biancavaleri.com, and the description box is right down below for all those details. So I hope you can come away with me on the next motivational post, and I would love to hear from you. What do you guys want me to talk about? Is there something that you really want to work on, and maybe I can help you guys with that, right? It's all about my act of love to you guys, words of affirmation. So until next time, I'm Bianca Valerio. Come away with me. Bye, guys.